Good evening. All right, this review is going to be a little bit different. This isn't something that I'm sponsored for. This is just something I'm deciding to do. Uh, I have been seeing advertisements for the Wet n Wild Midnight Mermaid set, and so I wanted to get it, and I wanted to share what it's like uh, in case you're interested in getting some of the pieces, all the pieces, whatever. So I got my box. It's beautiful. I love it. And then when you open it up, here are all of your pieces. These are your eyeshadows, liquid eyeliners, lipsticks, and your highlighter. So I'm going to take this out. All right, so we're going to start with the highlighter bar first. The highlighter bar is called Midnight Moon. See, it's got the little scale pattern on it and the mermaid. I have not opened these yet, so this is going to be my first time seeing the coloring and everything for myself as well. Um, I do like how this color works. Um, just, I think it's it's a very pretty color. So, first have to get all the stickers off. So that's that's the bar. Let's see if we can see how this looks on my my pasty skin. Oh yeah, you are not able to see that at all. All right, let me, let me try it on my other arm, see if that'll work, because that one doesn't have the tattoo or anything. There we go, get a little better color on that. You can kind of see it. It comes off, um, comes off the bar really easily. It's got a nice shimmer to it. Um, and while it's mainly gold, it's almost got like a little bit of green in it, which I think is actually very pretty and goes with the mermaid thing. So, all right, next we're moving on to the eyeshadows. And so I got to let's see, this one is called Aquatic Prism. It's a pretty green color, hence the name. Looks a little blue on the screen. Yep, Li metallic liquid eyeshadow. So let's get a swatch on here. So that's your aquatic. Let's see if I can get a little better color on there. Um, it can go on very thin from the looks of it, but it's highly pigmented. So even a thin amount will um, will show up. It's very sparkly. Uh, it's kind of a aqua green color with a little bit of gold in it. All right, and this one is called Moonlight Majesty. So I love the names of these. I mean, you gotta love when they run with a theme. Um, you didn't notice before all the tops of these have the scale pattern on them um, this one is a really pretty purple Let's see if we can get a good swatch there we go this is your purple it's very pretty um, I could definitely see these um, being something that I would use uh, I wouldn't try to make them highly pigmented or really thick. It'd be something that I would um, use a single layer on. Let's see, this one is called... I can't even read it. Hold on, I tore the thing off. This one is called Laura's something. Laura's something, I can't. I tore it off before I could read it, and it's very difficult to read on the bottom. But this is a darker green. So let's see how this one works. Yeah, this is like a forest green. With a little bit of gold in it. It's very Christmassy. It's a very Christmassy color. I like it. Very Christmassy. And then this last one is called do, 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 Mysterious Nights, which makes sense because it's a like a black. It's got a bit of 
gray and gold it looks like in it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It's kind of black, brown looking. So these are all, this is the highlighter bar up at the top, and then you've got your four eyeshadows. I'm gonna move on to the liquid liner. This first one is called Trident's Shimmer. It's kind of a, um, a gray, which I think is an interesting choice. It's very pretty. It's kind of a stormy gray color, which I like. I like that a lot. The next one, Sea Dreams. It's a like a, a yeah. It's a like a royal blue, um, a storm blue. Less less gray than the other one, but still that kind of a darker blue you can kind of see the difference there and then the last one is, is a green color and it is called sea symmetry one thing i wanted to point out about these is the tops of them the tops of the liquid eyeliners have like an ombre with the color that the eyeliner is on top of it, which is a nice touch, um, especially for something that they are, um, this is kind of a big deal for Wet n Wild. So um, it's nice to see them put the little details and stuff in it. And here's the, the green. I need to start moving the other way. Yeah, there's the green. On to the lipsticks. So this first lipstick, these are all the Liquid Catsuit. It's a metallic matte lipstick. This one is called Sea Seduction. It's kind of a blue, a dark blue. There's a blue, a green, a red, and an orange. Uh, I personally will probably not use the orange, but we'll have to see. I do love the Liquid Catsuit brand in and of itself, so. So that's the Sea Seduction. It went on very, very well. Highly pigmented. I like that. Because um, sometimes with the liquid lipsticks, they're a little, um, a little thin. Um, but yeah. Then let's see. This one is called Siren's Jewel. This is the green. Um, and this liquid cat suit, where they normally had a girl in a cat suit on it. These actually have the mermaid on it. So again, a nice little touch. I appreciate that. This is a beautiful green color. I'm a major fan. I like that. I like dark colored lipsticks. I don't know what it is. I tried them out a few years ago and they just I don't know, something about it. Oh, and as a reminder, these are all cruelty-free. So you can buy without worrying that animals were tested on. This is Harbor a Crush. <laughs> Dad jokes. So this one is the red. And I'm betting this one is going to be one of the prettiest of the colors. I'm really glad that... I have almost, I'm almost done with these because I'm running out of arm. Oh yeah. This kit is being touted as fall colors and they are totally right. This is fall in a box. This is the Harbor of Crush. Um, it doesn't seem as pigmented as the first two, but it's still a very, very pretty color. And then this last one, this is the orange. It is called Coral crown. So. Do, do, do. Let's see how this one works. Oh, this is really pretty. Now, I would wear this color as like an eyeliner 
or an eyeshadow. But it's kind of a pumpkin color. As you can see, all these colors are very fall. Um, they're gorgeous. I was expecting a little more metallic out of the lipsticks, to be honest. But there's fantastic shimmer in the eyeshadows. I love the coloring of the eyeliners and, and the lipsticks. And the highlighter bar, I think, is just... It's subtle. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the in-your-face highlighter, personally. Um, but, yeah, this is a fantastic set. Um, you know, the set itself costs less than all the individual pieces together. But the set sells out quickly. So, um, like, the set itself was, like, $40, but I think it's worth, like, $55. So, if you only want, like, half the stuff that's in the box, it's worth it just to, just to purchase it. Oh, it was almost $35 was how much the box cost. Because $35 and you get free shipping. And it was $34.99. So, I, had to, I went to their clearance section and bought, like, a 50-cent lip gloss. So, that way I didn't have to pay 5 bucks in shipping. But it's a fantastic set. I'm definitely going to be using it a lot over the over the fall and the winter. And it's just, it's well made. I like the amount of time that they put into the branding, the style, everything like that. So go check it out. Definitely, definitely worth a check if, um, if, you, if you're into the brighter fall colors. So check it out. Let me know what you think. If you've got questions, comments, or profound thoughts, put them below. Thanks much.